What's going on YouTube, CEO in the making, back with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro versus the Buds Live as well as the Buds Plus. So we're gonna go over all the details, the similarities, the differences, and hopefully help you guys decide which one is the best fit for you. So if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button for more videos just like this one. Also feel free to check out the timestamps down in the description as well as the affiliate links if you're interested in grabbing any of these three earbuds. So let's go ahead and start off with the price. So currently you can get the Buds Plus for 110 bucks, the Buds Live for 140 bucks, and the Buds Pro for 200 bucks. Taking a look at the charging cases, as you can see, the Buds Plus has the older case design, whereas the Buds Live and Buds Pro have the updated case design. With the Buds Plus, you're getting kind of a pill-shaped case with a glossy plastic finish. And then with the Buds Live, you have more of a compact square shape with some rounded edges and a matte finish. Overall, the Buds Live case is a little bit easier to handle and it doesn't collect fingerprints like the Buds Plus case. The Buds Pro case is essentially the exact same as the Buds Live case. You've got the same shape, the same matte finish, but something unique about the Buds Pro case is that it has kind of a pearl finish to it. So if you get it in the right light, you can see that it changes colors. Moving on to the earbuds themselves, you can see they actually differ quite a bit. The Buds Plus feature an ear wing design to help give you a very secure fit. The Buds Live feature a really unique elongated type shape and look very similar to some sort of a bean. No traditional ear tips with these. These are designed to give a live type of sound which is gonna allow you to hear a lot more of your ambient noises going on around you. So no ceiling ear tips or anything like that with the Buds Live. And then the Buds Pro has this reflective surface on the exterior. And then you can see you've got a couple different microphones located throughout the earbud. And you also have these oval shaped ear tips that we're starting to see more of. So this is different from the traditional rounded ear tips that we have on the Buds Plus. So all three of these earbuds are running Bluetooth 5.0. As far as battery life, the Buds Plus will give you about 11 hours on a single charge with a total of 22 hours with the charging case. The Buds Live will give you about eight hours on a single charge with a total of 29 hours with the charging case. And then the Buds Pro will also give you about eight hours on a single charge with a total of 28 hours with the charging case. Keep in mind that the active noise cancellation and other features of the Buds Live and the Buds Pro will impact the battery life. So the more that you use those features, the lower that battery life is gonna be. All three of these earbuds do support wireless charging. So if wireless charging is a must have for you, you can't go wrong with either one of these. As far as water resistance, the Buds Live as well as the Buds Plus only have an IPX2 water resistant rating, which honestly is pretty low. So that basically means they can withstand small splashes of water as well as light sweat. Now the Buds Pro have an IPX7 rating, which is gonna give you a lot more protection. So if you're an active person, if you spend a lot of time outdoors or if you hit the gym pretty frequently, you'll probably wanna go with the Buds Pro cause like I said, that's gonna give you a lot more protection from the outdoor elements, from sweat or any moisture. Now, as far as latency, all three of the earbuds have a gaming mode, which can be activated through Samsung's app. But let's see if there's any difference between the three earbuds in terms of latency with that gaming mode activated. So the Galaxy Buds Pro are obviously the newest release and rightfully so they have a couple features that the Buds Live and the Buds Plus don't have. One of those features is the automatic ambient mode. So basically anytime the earbuds detect your voice, they automatically go into ambient mode so that you can comfortably have a conversation. This is actually a really cool feature and probably the best feature that the Galaxy Buds Pro offers. It's very intuitive, very convenient. So basically if you have the active 
noise cancellation activated and then you need to have a quick conversation all you need to do is start speaking and the earbuds will automatically switch to ambient mode so that you don't have to fidget with the earbuds or remove one of them from your ears in order to properly hear the buds pro also allows you to adjust the sound balance between the left and right earbud so this is another feature that you don't get with the buds plus or the buds live the buds pro will allow you to connect to two devices at the same time but they have to be samsung galaxy devices that have been signed into your samsung account so it's not your typical multi-point connection that simply works with any two bluetooth capable devices so as far as the fit, you're definitely gonna get the most secure fit with the Galaxy Buds Plus due to the ear wing, which helps lock the earbud into place. So for activities, this is gonna be your best bet. But as far as comfort, the Buds Live takes the cake due to the design and the fact that it's a non-sealing earbud. But at the same time, it still gives you a really secure fit because of how it fits seamlessly inside of your ear. So the Buds Live are another great option for activities. You shouldn't have any problems with these staying in place. As we saw with the Buds Pro, they feature the oval shaped ear tips, which makes them more comfortable than the Buds Plus, but not quite as secure. You can still get a nice snug fit, but you will have to play around with the different size ear tips. So as far as security, I would go with the Buds Plus, and as far as comfort, I would give it to the Buds Live. Now, as far as the sound quality between the three earbuds, let's go ahead and start out with the Galaxy Buds Live. Due to their design, they're gonna give you a much different experience compared to the Buds Plus and the Buds Pro. So the Galaxy Buds Live is designed to mimic a live sound experience which is why it features a non-sealing design. So with that design, you're not gonna get quite as dynamic of a sound, but for what these are, they actually sound really good. Actually a lot better than what I expected them to. They feature 12 millimeter drivers, so they have plenty of volume and plenty of power to go around. The mids and highs sound great, they're very forward, and give you some really nice treble. The bass is subtle, but again, for what these are, it's not bad. It definitely holds its own and gives you a nice balance along with the mids and highs. So as far as an open style earbud, the sound on these is actually pretty impressive. Now the Buds Plus versus the Buds Pro is a better comparison since they both feature silicone ear tips to give you the proper seal. So the big difference between the two is that the Buds Pro features an 11 millimeter woofer and a 6.5 millimeter tweeter. You can definitely notice the difference compared to the Buds Plus. The Buds Plus, in my opinion, are very treble focused. I wouldn't say that the bass on the Buds Plus is lacking, but it's definitely not as pronounced, not as dynamic, and not as rich as it is on the Buds Pro. So the Buds Pro definitely gives you more of that low end sub bass compared to the Buds Plus. The treble of the Buds Pro comes off a little bit better balanced and controlled, especially at higher volumes. With the Buds Plus, at times, depending on what you're listening to, I do feel like the treble can come off a little bit sharp, especially at max volume. So overall, the Buds Pro definitely has the best sound out of the three. Now let's go ahead and talk about the ambient modes. So only the Buds Plus and the Buds Pro have an ambient mode. Since the Buds Live feature that non-sealing design, there's really no point for them to have an ambient mode. Now, when it comes to the ambient mode of the Galaxy Buds Plus, it's definitely not the most natural sounding. It has kind of a process sound to it, especially on the highest setting. Now, it does do a great job of allowing you to hear your surroundings, but like I said, it does sound a little overly processed. The Buds Pro definitely has a more natural sound, especially on the lower settings. It gives you more control over the strength of the ambient mode, which lets you dial it to a point that sounds more natural. Once you turn it up to the higher settings is when it starts to sound a little bit more processed like the Buds Plus. But again, the Buds Pro, just like the Buds Plus, does a great job of bringing in the ambient noises around you so that you can hear what's going on. Now, when it comes to active noise cancellation, out of the three earbuds, only the Buds Live and the Buds Pro offer ANC. For the Buds Live, it's difficult for them to deliver top tier ANC simply due to their design. But it does work and it's actually useful for certain types of sounds. So it works well for lower frequency sounds. So if you're traveling on an airplane or a train or a bus, these are gonna be really good at cutting down those engine noises. 
or if you live somewhere or work somewhere that has noisy HVAC systems or appliances, these are gonna be useful for things like that, but not so much higher frequency sounds like voices. I think the only thing holding back the ANC of the Galaxy Buds Live is the fact that it doesn't seal off your ears, which would obviously help at blocking out more noise. So with the Buds Pro, you are getting slightly stronger and more effective active noise cancellation, but to be honest, it's not exactly a night and day difference compared to the Buds Live. Within the Samsung app, you have a high and a low setting. I would have liked to see a fully adjustable slider, maybe like the Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds. So overall, I would not put the Buds Pro ANC over the AirPods Pro and definitely not over the Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds. The Bose Quiet Comfort still hold the crown as far as the most effective active noise canceling earbuds on the market. So overall, the active noise cancellation of the Galaxy Buds Pro is solid, but it's definitely not the best of the best. Now let's go ahead and do some microphone tests to compare the call quality between the three earbuds. All right, so this is a microphone test of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And now this is a microphone test of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And this is a microphone test of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So that's gonna be all for this video. Again, if you're interested in grabbing any of these earbuds, be sure to check out the affiliate links down in the description. Also, if this video was helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on social media to stay up to date on all the reviews that I'll have coming up in the future. So that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys in the next one.